It's always an exciting time when you get new Robux. And how do you guys uh, like this new camera angle? All set for the first ever solo ride. Just me. Wow. Just take a look at that sunset. Brilliant, right? While I was doing the second, I said, no, you, you booked the wrong. Like... Finally got a chance to get the bike to the showroom to change the tires. I think this is my third visit in the last one month. Definitely unplanned. Could have organized it better, but that's okay. Nice, lovely winter morning here in Hyderabad. Probably around 30 degrees or something. It's always an exciting time when you get new rubber because the bike feels entirely different. It handles different. Nothing wrong with these current tires for street riding or even touring. Just that I wanted something specific for the track because when you're cornering like that, you would want a better grip. And I'm surprised how grippy and soft these tires are but still I want uh, a bit more softer rubber and how do you guys uh, like this new camera angle trying something uh, new because I'm always a sucker for uh, new camera angles man I want to and that uh, and if you've been following MotoGP their shoulder cam looks cool especially when those overtakes or cornering uh, clips come out man I wish I can have those tiny cameras on the shoulder on the helmet and all because on the new helmet show you I don't want to fit anything be it Senna or a GoPro because they screw up the weight and it feels this helmet feels so heavy so I want to have a stock setup just the plain helmet for the track because I want to be as light as possible on the track trying to get some workouts done since the last week uh, to lose some extra weight so all these help in getting faster on the track uh, also you can be the fitter you are the better because track sessions are tiring man two hours later okay testing the new tires whenever you get new tires you need to let them also bed in a while maybe for the first 300 to 400 kilometers because you don't get the same grip so you need to be a little careful when you accelerate or brake feels a little weird with these tires man i can feel the newness of the tires they feel little heavy to move left and right i'm finding it little hard for the bike to come back to the position mainly because of the grip levels to fully test the tire i have to do some touring let the tire uh, bed in for maybe 300 400 kilometers and then go on a track to see if this is a good tire or not for the purpose that i'm looking for in this test i'm only checking if the wheel is aligned balanced properly and if it is fitted correctly any issues i have to figure out today because tomorrow is the packing and day after i'm leaving straight line acceleration is fine not much of wobble only thing that i'm finding little tricky is the way this is turning Initially the tires felt a bit strange but after a bit of warm up I think I like the tires They still need to be a little bit uh, as I said used to get them into a better condition But on a whole I'm really satisfied So the new tires are fit on the front and the rear So all set for the track Chalo let's go I guess <laughs> 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 sir, automatically. How? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the work is done. Have to fit my ram mount and figure out uh, GoPro options and also Senna options on the helmet. Senna ke liye backup is AirPods. For this one, I have to change the ram mount from the 850 to this one. That's it. Rest all the bike is set up. I just need to pack some clothes later tonight and day after. We are heading to Coimbatore. If you like the content and if you are interested in the track sessions, definitely hit like, subscribe and share. And if you are one of those viewers who watches my videos but don't subscribe, you are doing a lot of big injustice because you are going to miss out on all the updates. So definitely hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon for instant notifications. Yes. Good morning. All set for the first ever solo ride. Just me. Super excited man. Feels a little strange but kind of excited about it I'm, i mean i was not so pumped up when i was starting it first like another ride but then i thought it will get better once we start getting on the road the original plan was to start at seven eventually as usual things get delayed i lost the art of tying the bags so it took me a while uh, to figure that out 
आई डिड द कार ट्रिप्स सोलो कार ड्राइव एंड ऑल बट बाइक में दिस इज माई फर्स्ट एवर सोलो लॉन्ग राइड यू मेड बी नोटिसिंग टू न्यू थिंग्स वन इज दिस न्यू डार्क वाइजर परफेक्ट फॉर द काइंड ऑफ वेदर वी हैव एंड दी अदर थिंग दैट यू माइट बी नोटिसिंग न्यू इज द कैमरा एंगल एंड इफ देर इज एनी मोडो ब्लॉग राइट दैट यू माइट बी वॉन्डरिंग हाउ आई गॉट द माइक सेटअप डन वेन यू डोंट सी एनी थिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी वाई for that you need to stay subscribe and stay tuned i'll reveal it either on one of the upcoming videos next two videos or on instagram so follow me up at both the locations instagram because you like quicker updates there till i got on the bike i was not like super keen or excited about the solo it was it, it felt like any other ride but now to just think of it once i'm on the bike it feels little strange that i'm doing this all on my own for 6 days I've done uh, trips in a car but never a solo ride on the bike beyond a day. In a day I might have gone to some locations but not with the luggage and all man. So going to be interesting there there are few limitations with uh, having a scrambler instead of the 850. I don't have my tire puncture kit but we are on the highway so there will be a puncture shops. I hope not to have anything on the new tires especially. And I'm not going to vlog much. You have seen the route. and there's a new setup i'm trying out so you'll get few bits and uh, clips here and there because there are few limitations on uh, using this gopro setup instead of the helmet i didn't want to mount anything here because it's going to just be make the helmet heavy and for track rides you want it to be as light as possible covered approximately 60 kilometers came outside the city and we're just trying to stretch my legs a bit and also check all the bags and all to see if everything's fine because this time we don't have anyone else riding with us to see if anything's hanging loose or tight i used to do those checks and we don't have anyone to communicate on the sena too so the advantage of riding solo is you're not like going too fast or waiting and slowing down for someone it's just a consistent pace less break times mainly breaks breaks would be less pace is going to be similar anywhere around 110 to 130 just cruising along for now I'm just going to enjoy a solo ride with some podcast and meal break have some calls later on i just hope it doesn't get hot because it's, it's a clear winter sky and anantapur does get hot so i'll be reaching anantapur like peak afternoon for now just going to ride the uh, food for a bit and have my breakfast and then get going Anantapur is another 154 kilometers guys covered so far 220 odd kilometers from my home took me 4 hours with uh, one hour of a breakfast uh, break that one hour was because everything was done in half an hour but i was fiddling around with uh, some tools on the bike just to tighten the screw here or there always something or the other comes to an eye uh, when you are uh, when you have a no cd for perfection like this was adjusted uh, like the handlebar was changed so this was not tight for my liking it was good but i was just fiddling around with some stuff so suddenly lost track of time and it was one hour and now i just stop uh, to get the pollution done on this bike so all the bike documents are ready time wise i'm uh, keeping up decent time to reach karnal now in probably in 2 hours i will uh, reach anantapur that would be good time to have lunch by 3 i would start from there and maybe 3 hours to bangalore so would probably reach uh, by 6 peak <laughs> rush hour traffic me so i have to decide uh, where to stay because original plan was to go to hosur so that tomorrow's exit would be easy and i can't uh, ride in the night because this bike doesn't have auxiliary lights and with the stock lights you would be going too slow that it's not worth riding So either I'll stay at the entry of Bangalore, which is on the northern side of Bangalore, or towards east, uh, which is the way to Fosur and then Salem, Krishnagiri, and Coimbatore. Hmm. Surprisingly, no deviation on the Karnal route. Usually there is some construction or the other. This road is never done, but today, weirdly, Karnal roads done, man. It's a highway again. No more those service roads and all. Sure, we are in the final stretch. Another 52 kilometers or 160 minutes to the destination. Uh, 635 is the ETA. I got a big update. If you have been following me on Instagram, you know by now uh, that the track session is can- postponed or cancelled for this week. It got postponed due to the weather conditions. Apparently, there is some. Uh, cyclonic weather uh, and high chance of rain i had to take a call 2 to 3 hours on this side or 6 uh, hours that side 6 to 7 hours i thought 
I've come all the way to here. At least, let me spend a day in Bangalore. So that's what I'm gonna do. But it's not gonna be a waste because I've been checking OLX for some second-hand uh, motorcycles and a few that I've shortlisted. I can finish checking them out tomorrow. Get some edits done uh, in the evening and come back day after tomorrow, so that we can officially say we have done a solo ride. Because if I go back today, it would be like a breakfast long ride, long breakfast ride. Just need to watch out for the cops here. That's a big headache. Long time back till like 2018 or 19, I was fined multiple times. So since then, I just tried to be careful. In fact, there is one cop there. Wow! Just take a look at that sunset. Brilliant, right? Chalo, nothing else to show unless a cop stops. There won't be much of a content here. Anyway, how are you liking this uh, GoPro setup? The only disadvantages with this setup are. Uh, I have to keep the wireless transmitter always on. Could I turn it off uh, before lunch, I guess? And then turn it on only once I'm closer to Bangalore. So I don't know how long the battery would have lasted if I kept it on throughout the day. If you have to change the angles, you have to kind of stop and do it. Of course, with the chin mount also you can't change angles. There is uh, another mount that I got where you can rotate it. But it goes inside the helmet. I don't know how strong that is. I'll give it a try. Uh, in this trip but just trying something new for you guys hope you like it i think airport to airport it would have probably taken eight hours including three hours of breaks so five hours on the road here yeah. keeping up the same pace as if i were in a gang so i'm happy chalo go and hit some traffic and uh, catch you guys at the hotel Man, finally checked into the room. It's almost what 7:30 right now. Initially went to a wrong hotel. I looked at a Holiday Inn and Racecourse Road. Uh, thought the property was nice, and it was showing 6,000. And when I booked it, it ended, I ended up booking the Holiday Inn Express in Ashwinpur. So when they drop all the bags, and then the, while I was doing the check-in, they said, "No, you, you booked the wrong hotel." I was like. Need to tie everything back again and then go in traffic almost 40 minutes. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed uh, a different kind of a vlog. Wanted to only show motor vlog. Don't want to show all the food, fuel stops and all. Been a while since we did a pure motor vlog. Let me know what you think in the comment section and the new setup. If you like it, we might use it more often. And I think the battery can last uh, a full day of a trip. Uh, the wireless. Uh, oh, let me show you the <laughs> vlogging setup. So this is the helmet setup, guys. This is the only thing that I added on the helmet because I thought it's better than the AirPods for music and calls. And in case you're wondering where the mic setup is, that's the Rode wireless transmitter. Nicely tucked in here. Doesn't move and easy to charge because I can just remove the plug connector and charge it. And the other main transmitter is on the GoPro. And the helmet feels much lighter and safer because you're not adding any mounts to the chin, which I heard can be very unsafe if you have a big fall because even though the mount was supposed to come off and break, Shoemaker had an, uh, had that accident because of the GoPro app, apparently. Felt reasonable that your helmets being attached to something that they haven't tested it for. So didn't want to continue that setup. Eventually, I would like to shift to a simpler setup like this, but only concerns as I said are uh, battery uh, life of for a day. I don't want to keep charging. Ideally, I want to record both mic and uh, video instantaneously. I don't want to keep turning them on and off or leave them on for a long time. Sometimes you got to try to know if it works or not, right? So that's the idea. Let me know in the comment section if you like this setup. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And in case watching tonight, have a good night and take care. Bye-bye.